Oh man, my skid plate's off. Why is that a thing? That's because today we're changing the oil. How boring, right? Yeah, I'm not going to do an oil change video. Instead, I've got the car up on ramps right now to change my oil. And the question came up if there's any oil left in the pan after we drain the oil out. So, simple test. Because it's on ramps, it's at an angle. Let's find out. Now I have this little valve to change the oil. Makes it really easy. I am aware that uh, some people worry that the valve actually sets up above the threads. I'll put a picture up of some, kind of what people worry about, but they, I've seen people file one side of it down so it drains a little bit more. But at least for this pan, I'm looking at it and I don't know if it'll actually have any caught in there or not because look at the pan. The lowest point is the drain pan. There's, it's even got a weird shape to it to accept that. Pardon the dirt. All this red stuff is uh, it's from Copper Harbor, Michigan. I know that because it was a different color than all the other dirt on the car. You can also see the fluid film is holding up just fine. I'll do a video on that eventually. But let's go ahead and let it drain. I'm going to be really quick on this one. This shouldn't take very long. All right, YouTube. It's almost down to a drip. It's still a set steady stream, just barely, if you can see that. But I wanted this shot right here so that the... You can see the jack's already in place. The jack, I'm going to go back there and jack up the rear diff. And I wanted to have a good shot of the drain pan at this or drain pan drain plug at the same time or in this case the uh, Fumoto valve I think I'm pronouncing that right it's almost to a drip it'll go and go and go I only ever stop letting it drain once it's to a drip because this goes on forever forever all right we're now to a drop this is usually when I go ahead and close it up because I'm aware that It'll just do this forever, and you'll never actually get it all out of there. But let's see if putting it up level, or even level-ish, helps. I don't think it's going to help much, but that's why we do these experiments. Like I said, the oil pan is already the lowest point, and or the, the oil plug is already the lowest point looking at it. And I don't see how it being level could help at all. Let's find out. It stopped. My jack back there is maxed out. I don't know if you can see. But it's maxed out. And it's not even dripping. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Well, that's interesting. Maybe it was stuck in the system coming out the filter or something. Alright, so what did we learn? Ramps are actually better than a lift in this case, which is surprising to me. 
because the ramps actually tilt the, uh, at least on this, the ramps actually tilt the pan back towards the drain. So, I can't confirm it on the FB25, but at least for the EZ36, for the six-cylinder model, I'd say going on ramps to change the oil is the way to go. If you're concerned about getting this little bit out, I don't think it's a big deal. Pretty much every oil change has just a little bit in the system. You can never get 100% of it. But hey, if you get 95%, you're doing good. Honestly, if you change your oil in these things, you're doing good. That's about all they need. They're really not picky about oil. I've ran a few oil analysis that says as much. So don't obsess about it too much. Just make sure it's got oil in it and make sure you change it. That's about all it needs. So hopefully we learned something. Thanks for watching.